Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about um, the exponent question that appeared on the June 2024 digital SAT. Let's jump in. So here I can see that I have 5 root 119n multiplied by 6 root 119n um, squared. And then it says, for what value of x is the given expression equivalent to 119n to the 30x, where n is greater than 1? So this is where knowing the laws of exponent comes um, super in handy, but let's just see. So first, um, the 5 here would just become 119n raised to the 1 over 5. Same in here, I can express that as 119n raised to the 1 over 6. This is all squared, so I can also distribute this here. This becomes multiplied. So essentially, it would be do 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 119n over 2 6, which will reduce to 1 third. Um, so I'll say 1 third n. And, and then it says that it's equivalent to 119n to the 30 power. Well, first, note now the bases are the same. So I can just do 119n, 1 fifth plus 1 third. And then I can set that equal to 119n raised to the 30x. Next, I need to find the common denominators of 5 and 3, which is 15. So that would be 119n. This would be um, 3 fifteenths plus 5 fifteenths. Do, 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 do. So basically, 119n over 815 is equal to 119n raised to the 30x. So remember, I have the bases. They are the same. When bases are the same, I can take simply take the exponents, 815, and set it equal to 30x. I will do that over here. So 815 is equal to 30x. Cross multiply. This will give me 8 is equal to 450x. Now divide each side by 450. And then this will reduce to cut it in half. So I make it 4 over 225 is equal to x. And that would be the value of x, 4 over 225. You could type that into your um, calculator. So amazing. Let's also look at another exponent question that appeared on June 2024 Digital SAT. Similar question, which was this one here. I think this one's a little easier, but let's just take a look. Um, so I have 5 root p squared is equal to t to the 3 fourths. So in case it's a little blurry, 5 root p squared is equal to t 3 fourths. So just like before, I'm going to apply my loss of exponents. This I can express as p squared raised to the one fifth power, and that would be t to the three fourths. However, it says that t is equal to um, p to the two n minus one, so I can substitute that in here. So we p two n minus one raised to the three fourths. Now I'm going to multiply the exponents here, and this will give me p over two fifths. And this will be equal to p um, 6 fourths n minus 3 fourths. And then I have my bases, p is the same. So now I can just um, set the exponents, well, remove the bases and set the exponents equal to each other. So let's do that. Um, OK, so I'm going to also just bring the 3 fourths over just to show step-by-step -step process. Um, next, I would find the common denominator, which is 20. And then this would become 8 over 20 plus 15 over 20. And that's equal to p 6 fourths n, which simplifies to um, p 23 over 20. Sorry, that's a little messy. So mm -hmm. p23 over 20 is equal to p 6 fourths n. 
I can also um, simplify this to um, three halves n. Okay. I'm just going to take these now, set them equal to each other. So I have 23 over 20 is equal to 3 halves n. Um, so cross multiply. And I would have that uh, 46 is equal to 60 n. Then now divide each side by 60. So 46 over 60 is equal to n. Let's reduce that divide everything by two, and that would give me 23 over 30 equals n, and that would be the answer. Okay, but so make sure for SAT that you know the laws of exponents really well. They're super important in case you need a refresh of them. They're right here. Um, SAT lets test them, especially with multiple variables so that you can do them arithmetically without a calculator. So make sure you know them. And I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.